Hey money makers, welcome back to another video. This is Money with Money where we discuss all things finance. Today I wanted to give you guys nine money rules that you can follow in order to help you reach your financial goals this year and any year. So the first tip is to not increase your lifestyle when you increase your pay. So that means once you've gotten that promotion, um, that new job or that second stream of income, don't be in a rush to elevate your lifestyle by getting a new car, getting a new house, or just spending more money on things that you really didn't need to begin with. Okay, this is called life inflation. And it's a... Uh, it's a faux pas that we all do financially. We've all done it, okay? Now that you have your new job, you wanna go and, and get that new jacket because now you can afford it. But what you really should be doing is keeping your expenses the same as they were before. That way you can experience that extra income hitting your account and you being able to save it in order to get out of the rat race. You can take the extra money and you can invest it. You can take the extra money and you can um, use it to start a side hustle, a business, do whatever. It, you can find way more responsible ways to spend the extra money that you're making instead of trying to look apart or or look a certain way that really isn't going to help you out in the long run okay the second money rule is to invest in yourself when you have an, a little bit of extra cash coming your way the first thing you want to do with it is see how you can improve yourself okay maybe you can get a new certification sometimes they cost money to take that test and jobs aren't willing to pay for it um maybe you can use it to um start a business okay you want to spend money in a way that's going to enhance you in the long run not in the short run you don't want to spend money on you know clothes and weaves and nails constantly 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 and then wondering where's your money going where's your money going or when you lose that job you're like wow you have nothing to fall back on because you didn't invest yourself invest in yourself properly in order to have some a safety net in case something goes wrong Okay, at the end of the day, make sure that you're make, putting your best foot forward as an individual and making sure that you're investing the money in a way that enhances you and doesn't hurt you. The third tip is to do not spend money before you even make it. I have heard time and time again, hey, can I borrow some money and when I get my paycheck, I'll pay you back? Or, or hey, when my stimulus check comes in, I'll be able to pay for this, so I'll just buy it right now. No, 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 no. Wait till the money has actually come because what could happen is you get into debt or you borrow this money um, from, a, from a friend and then the money that you thought was coming falls through. Okay, we're not making those kind of mistakes this year. All right, make sure the money is actually in your hands and ready to spend. Make sure so that you don't get into a debt or you don't get into a bind or end up messing up a friendship for no reason. The fourth tip. Keep your expenses low. I talk about this all the time. Make sure you're not spending money frivolously. Make sure it's not going to things that it doesn't need to go to. Always track your expenses and keep them as low as possible. Always find new ways to keep them low. That cable bill, look at it, cut it down. That internet bill, same thing. Phone bill, car note, insurance, all that stuff. Always revisit your expenses and find a way to keep them low. This in the long run is going to help you out so much, guys. I have saved so much money over the years just by making sure that my money is not going to stupid places. The fifth tip is going to be quick and simple. Stop making other people rich. I want you to start buying these and not these. You want to invest in stock. You want to invest in something that's going to help make you rich, not invest in something that's making somebody else rich. Every time you're buying that new piece of latest technology, every time you're buying that latest purse or those latest shoes, yes, you're feeling good about yourself. Yes, you feel like you're worth something. But at the end of the day, if you lose your job, those shoes are not going to help you. Okay, but that stock just might. My sixth tip is to give money like it's not gonna come back. If you have a friend that needs to borrow some money, make sure you give them a certain amount that isn't gonna put you in a bind, okay? You can't be out here paying other people's rent and your stuff isn't even paid. You can't put yourself in a situation where you're giving more to somebody that couldn't give it back to you. Now, I'm not saying to be selfish and not help people. I'm just saying, give enough to where, okay, if I give them $100, if they don't pay me back, I'll still be okay. I can still make this payment. I can still make this payment. If they give it back, that's a luxury and that's fine. If they don't give it back, okay, you know not to give that person money again and at least you're still straight. That friendship might be severed. We might not trust that person as much anymore, but at the end of the day, do not put yourself in a situation to where you're stressed out and, and because you loaned that money now, you gotta borrow from somebody else. My seventh tip is to date carefully. Oh my, oh my. At the end of the day, who you partner with in life, who you, who you share your experiences with in life, 
affects everything okay and it definitely affects your finances so if you're new in the dating stages and you're just not meeting somebody and you know you're on a financial grind and you want to make sure that your stuff is okay of course it's tacky to sit there and ask somebody oh what's your salary and how much are you making and how much debt do you have you're not going to ask that on the first date but maybe on the first date you can ask them hey if you were given two hundred thousand dollars what would you do with the money okay kind of get to see where their head is at financially if you're already dating somebody and you're just now converting it to okay well now I got to save more money now I got to figure out what to do and you know they're not all the way on board and they're still you know spending money and not not understanding the importance of it all let them watch whatever you're watching let them read whatever you're reading bring it home to them talk to them about it and and start start getting it in their head tell them to subscribe to my channel so that they can learn about finances <laughs> But anyway, if, if you're dating somebody, just make sure that you're picking somebody that's not going to throw you off track. Because at the end of the day, you want to be equally yoked with whoever you're with when it comes to spirituality, when it comes to, you know, love languages, and definitely when it comes to finances, guys. You don't want somebody that's going to be out here, you're sharing joint accounts, and they're just blowing it on stupid stuff. Make sure you know who you're with, and please, please, please date carefully. Number eight do not judge somebody because of their financial situation you cannot judge anybody for what they're doing with their money unless it's affecting you personally okay because at the end of the day something can happen to them to where they end up in a position to where they can help you out if it's one thing about them tables they do know how to turn you want to show the janitor as much respect as you would show the ceo because you never know who's going to become a helping hand in the future okay and my ninth tip is to remember that money isn't everything there is a whole world outside of that okay there's other things that you can think about besides money make sure you're not so money hungry and so desperate to be in a certain financial situation that it's starting to make you become a dishonest person okay your freedom is not worth it don't commit fraud or steal or or do whatever shicey thing that you think you need to do to get ahead financially it's not everything it's not worth it earn your money organically because at the end of the day you were not born to just make money you were born to live a life and enjoy yourself and it would be awesome if you had a bunch of money to do that with <laughs> i really hope that this video helped you out guys these are my nine money rules that you can follow they're attainable they're achievable and they will definitely help you feel free to like share comment subscribe to all that down below and feel free to follow me on instagram at money with underscore money thanks